Tunaumia sisi mashabiki na sio wachezaji sisi ndo tunaumia. Wana sikii tunasema vipi kule mtani kule tunasema hesi ni 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 hesi ni wana ni haradi ya matukio. Wana wana ni haradi. Haya na ni na ni sababu ya nyie kuna ni ujuma ni ujuma ni ujuma. Staki staki. Namu niache ni ujuma. Labda kwa nini? This clip first appeared on the internet in early October 2012. And in a few weeks it had gone viral. Lefa na nyosha kibendera. Tukichafika karibu na wangoni, lazima na nyosha kibendera. Wao ni ungwane, wao ni ni haradi. Ni haradi. Samuel was visibly overcome with emotion after his team Young Africans Sports Club lost 5-0 to their bitter rivals Simba Sports Club in what he viewed as controversial circumstances. His bond of contention poor refereeing which he claimed cost his favorite team the match and denied the fans like himself the bragging rights. His passion for the beautiful game and his undying love for Yanga FC is what prompted us to visit Tanzania's capital Dar es Salaam where Yanga FC is based. Samuel lives in the Sagaria estate on the southern side of the city hapa hapa ndio nyumbani kwangu hiki ndio chumba changu nimepanga hapa Tanzania eh unaanza fungo tu pale eh hamna hamna mtu wote kwa sababu kuna wapangaji wenzangu this is Tanzania hamna wezi hamna wezi yeah very good na fungoe hivi he welcomed us to his rented one room house where he lives alone Samuel told us he is not married yet but is searching for soulmate who preferably should be a Kenyan lady. Wewe dada mope wewe mzuri wewe. Kama na mpango wa Jofre, muendee Jofre studio ni kwake kama. Naomba namba Steven Samuel. Nitafute. Mimi nitakuoa. After the icebreaker our conversation shifted to the video clip that won him global fame. I start by asking him why he was first reluctant to answer questions from the journalist in that particular clip. Umeona kabisa kilichotendeka una kamera una shoot alafu nasema hebu tuambie bibi mpira umeendaje Simba na Yanga wewe unaniuliza mimi umeendaje Simba na Yanga wakati wewe mwenyewe ndio ulikuwa na shoot anaona makosa ya refa anaona makosa ya landsman alafu ananiuliza vipi umeonaje mchezo mimi ningemjibu nini He also felt that the police officers manning the stadium mistreated younger fans and were lenient to their opponents Akijatosha mashabiki wa Simba pale wamekaa wale wa, wa kupiga ngoma si tunakuja kukaa hapa tunapiga vita tunakuja si tuko kimya cha msingi wana mmoja leo ni mchezaji je mnaangalia makari wapo mashabiki wa Simba waliruhusiwa wakae VIP mashabiki wa Yanga hatukuruhusiwa tukae what is the problem he could not imagine facing them in his neighborhood back in Sagaria tunaumia mashabiki na si wachezaji. Wana fika kule nikienda nyumbani nitafika vipi? Watu wamekaa kibao mashabiki wa Simba naanza kunisema mimi. Niliwakuta, niliwakuta, niliwakuta lakini baada ya kuona nilikuja nikashuka. Niliposhuka pale kituoni nikateemuka. Baada ya kuona watu wamejaa hapa. Ikabidi nirudi kinyume nyume. Alikusubiri. Walisubiri, wamekaa hapa. Ilikuwa ni saa 8 ya usiku. Saa sita ya usiku watu wamejaa hapa. Mwambie mimi siwezi kukaa hapa. Ikabini nirudi moja kwa moja nikaenda kulala kwenye hoteli. Ikabini niende nika drop wera kwenye bank KCB bank nikaenda kulala kwenye nani kwenye guest. So why is he so passionate about Yanga FC and when did he start supporting the team? Babangu alikuwa anaipenda sana Yanga. Ikabini na mimi nikubali niwe shabiki wa Yanga. Kutoka kisha nivutia kwanza Yanga kulikuwa my brothers ambao alikuwa anachezea Yanga. In the video clip that was posted on YouTube he breaks down into tears severally Vilikuwa viko hazalani kwanza kabla ampia si tukishajua kwamba matokeo kaka usilie labda usilie basi elezea labda kilichotokea Nili mnaangalia makari wapo basi bora bwana akisa nyingine acha 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 
and things were not different during my interview. Into the Kenya. <laughs> Natupenda kwamba tuwe na amani. Ongea. Kenya kama Kenya. Mm -hmm. Kenya naipenda sana. Sasa Kenya ambacho ningeweza kuomba nipo serious. Wednesday afternoon and Yanga FC is facing Kagera Sugar at the National Stadium. As usual, Samuel, whose loyalty to the club has never waned, is among thousands of supporters inside the stadium ready to cheer the team. Just like many big teams across the globe, Yanga FC fans are registered in different branches and Samuel is one of them. <laughs> Na ameacha kazi zao za nyumbani, wamekuja. Unajua kuna baadhi ya watu hapa wanafanya kazi. Lakini ameacha kazi zao kule, wamekuja kuangalia mpira. Umeona? Sio wao wenyewe wanaogopa kama timu inavyofanya vibaya, lazima walalamike na waulalamikie uongozi kama mbona huyu anafanya vibaya, yule mtoeni anafanya vibaya na huyu mtoeni anafanya vibaya. As I close our interview at the stadium, Samuel quickly runs back to the terraces to join his fellow Sagaria branch members as a game against Kagera Sugar gained momentum. I'm going. Ah, no problem. But before I conclude this story, Kenyan ladies out there, remember Samuel sent me to you with this special message. Taka ni oe Kenya. Mkitaka namba yangu ya simu, nenda studio kwa uja maa. Uyuni nabu yangu, Jofle. Nenda studio kwa Jofle, muka muombe namba, nipu kwenye Facebook. Mta nitafuta. Lazima nifikisha ujumu. Eh, lazima nifikisha ujumu. Shukran. Ya, asante. Thank you very much. Jofro Ashira, Force Post Machine, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.